Hello everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this marbling effect in Procreate on your iPad. Open up your Procreate and you're just going to want to create a new canvas and then create custom, press create and we're going to begin. Now go ahead and um well okay yeah go, go ahead and choose whatever colors you want for the marbling effect. I'm going to be using the paintbrush oriental brush. I mean you can use whatever brush you want. I just like this brush because of just the texture and feel it it gives off. And yeah. Just fill it up with whatever colors that you want. And I will speed this up for you guys. Alrighty, so here's what I have so far. And I left a little bit of gap so you can see the white showing through. And I did that on purpose because I want the background to show through. I would suggest duplicating this, sliding over there on to the left and click duplicate just in case you don't like what you come up with you can delete it and redo it again and then press another layer change it to the color you want the background to be i'm going to choose a black because it's just going to make the color stand out more and you'll see that as we go then click on the layer fill in the layer and then go ahead and move the layer to the bottom there you go and now we can start doing the fun stuff. I'll turn this second layer off for now. And then we can get going with this one. So go ahead to the left and see where you see that magic wand. Click on there where it says adjustments. Then go all the way down to liquify. And now this is the fun part. So there's quite a many few tools here you can play around with. This is a push tool and you can go ahead and adjust the size, even the distortion. And you just kind of playing around with that. And it, when you kind of just like literally push it around, it starts to look like a, the marbling effect. And that's kind of like this, with this tool, you can manually twirl it or you can actually click on the twirl tool and actually just go ahead and press down. But it's really, it's up to you. You can go back and forth with that. And then there's also, if you click on distortion, it kind of gives this really kind of interesting wavy kind of effect, which is pretty cool. It gives it that kind of abstract art effect, which I, I really like. And I like the black kind of showing through. It makes the colors, I think, pop just a little bit more. And then there's the pinch tool and it kind of cinches it in. The expand one and that kind of like pulls everything out and it's pretty cool even like if you see like the if you go to the twirl tool and you play around with a distortion you kind of have it twirls but it like twirls in like multiples but if you don't want that you can go all the way down to zero and then just it's like just one twirl this tool is pretty awesome oh and then the tool that i really think is awesome too is the crystal crystals tool and it gives this kind of like spiky effect <laughs> i don't know if that makes any sense and you can choose the size of it if you want something bigger and the distortion as well so it's almost like this kind of cool spiky vibrating effect <laughs> and there you have it yeah you literally within like a few clicks and playing around you have this cool piece of abstract art and yeah and another really awesome thing with this is you can go to adjust and you can see your process you can slide back and forth woo, <laughs> and see the effect and let's say you're like okay i went a little too far on that i want to go a little bit back and then i'm like okay i like that or i want to go even more back or forward you can play around with that and if you don't like what you have you can just click on reset and then start all over again if you want to i mean you can do that but i mean i have i had the i made a duplicate just 
just in case. It's still nice to have, let's say you want to try multiple effects and you want to compare them. I like to compare sometimes the different effects and see which one I like the most. And that is the basis of the liquify tool in Procreate. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to subscribe and turn on those bell notifications to know when I make my next video. And if you try this tutorial and you join this, um, make sure you tag me. I'd love to see your artwork and see what you come up with. I'm at the designer flow on Instagram and it'd be cool to see what you guys come up with. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.